Hey YouTube, Million Dollar Batchmaker here, and today we want to investigate a common cosmetic, food, and pharmaceutical ingredient called glycerol monosterate, and answer the fundamental question, is it safe? In the, in the pail here is a solid white flicky substance called glycerol stearate. It is used in food and pharmaceuticals to give thickness and smooth texture to foods and medicines, yet in cosmetics it is used extensively. For example, in this antiperspirant, in this acne cream, and in this face cream. But to understand why it's used so extensively, let's take a look at its chemical structure. This is the structure for glycerol stearate. Like many triglycerides, it has a glycerin backbone, hence the word glycerol, which is water soluble. And in addition, it has a fatty acid chain attached, which is oil soluble. Having one side oil soluble and the other side water soluble, it is great for combining oil and water in fine and freaky ways to create emulsions. Now, let's give a thought to how exactly it's made. In a typical process, glycerin is combined with stearic acid to make glycerol stearate. Glycerin itself can be made from chemical reactions involving plant oils, animal fats, and less commonly, petroleum. Meanwhile, stearic acid is a fatty acid found in both plants and animals. Keep in mind that if you wanted glycerol stearate made from only plant sources, that is possible. It just takes a little investigation. Now we're going to see glycerol stearate in action. We're going to add the contents of this pail to a water solution and see how it, oil and water can be combined to make a lotion, cream, or similar item. And now we're just slowly pouring glycerol stearate into our tank. Look at that flow. It actually reminds me of a song from the 90s for those old enough to remember. Don't go chasing chemicals. You can get some lotion from the store if you need to. Now inside our tank, we have a mixture of water and guar gum. We're going to heat this whole thing up to 80 degrees Celsius and with a little mixing. After 20 minutes, it's going to look like milk, except you probably shouldn't drink it. Alright, everything is mixed in at the boiling hot temperature of 70 degrees. From this point on, we can add a variety of oils and waxes to the batch without any fear of separation. In fact, let's add coconut oil just for fun. So let's recap. Glycerol stearate is a naturally occurring, biodegradable compound with a very low health risk to humans. That being said, it is highly processed. And some brands have been accused of using too much glycerol stearate as a cheap substitute for more expensive butters, oils, and waxes. So to answer the question, is it safe? Well, for the most part, yes. But in my humble opinion, there are some better substitutes out there, and we will be discussing them in a later video. Alright, to break up the monotony and reward all the viewers who stuck with us these past four minutes, we are going to play a game called Don't Drown. Right now, this mixer is going at 20 RPMs, and we're going to put in this RC boat with a camera so you can get a first person view. And the object of the game is simply this, uh, make sure the boat stays on top of the water and doesn't get pulled in by the vortex, okay? Sounds simple, it's harder than it looks. Let's, let's see this in action.
2 minutes 6 seconds. It's actually a personal best. Thanks again for watching guys, Million Dollar Batchmaker signing out.